Now the England squad will leave for London in about an hour's time as the countdown continues to their huge game tomorrow night against Denmark with that place in the final of the Euros at stake. Gary Neville famously missed the semi-final at Euro 96 due to an injury and he believes that England's main danger would be complacency tomorrow. I think more immense excitement. I think that England teams in previous tournaments that have obviously uh, struggled to get past group phases or out of sort of the second round, um, there's been anxiety. But I think with this group, once you got past Germany, um, I think the confidence was so high, the excitement builds and the nerves start to go away a little bit. And it becomes one of those moments as a football player that you have anticipated all your life. Um, tomorrow night is a game of these lads' lives and they should look forward to it. I don't think they'll carry that much uh, in terms of nervousness and anxiety. They'll just really be excited and desperate to get going. I suppose the only danger tomorrow night is that the players, because of what's happened in this last week to them, they do feel unbeatable and they just forget to go and do that job and that clinical bit. And we just couldn't get it over the line against Germany in '96. We had those chances which were so close. And I just, you know, these lads have been there in uh, 2018 in Russia. They've been so close, some of them. And I feel that's what will help them get over the line tomorrow night. The ones that were there in 2018 that will recognise this moment. They don't come around very often. And to have two semi-finals in two tournaments is incredibly special. But now they've got to go and finish the job off. They will have huge disappointment if they don't come away from Wembley tomorrow night in that final on Sunday. Well, Neville's been picking his own England team on social media for each game at the tournament. And this time he feels Bakaya Saka will return after missing the win over Ukraine with a slight knock. I think Sterling and Kane picked themselves. But I think between Foden, Grealish, Rashford, uh, Sancho, um, Saka, honestly, I think you could flip a coin between them all and it could land in any single one of them. And I don't think you'd be disappointed. I think we've got such strength in those types of positions. I just think Saka brought such energy to the Germany game at Wembley. Uh, such energy to the game before that against the Czech Republic that I feel that he just comes back in. I think the the, the, the Danish team um, won't enjoy playing against him. I'm not saying that they'll enjoy playing in Sancho, but the idea that Saka could start, Sancho could come on or vice versa, it, it wouldn't, to be fair, make us any weaker either way. I just think that Saka's had such an incredible impact on that crowd at Wembley that that's why I sort of said that he should come back in. But that team I picked was a 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1. I'm not even sure it'll be that system. Uh, it, they may, you know, Gareth may match Denmark up. He's done that against the German team. I do think that that experience against Scotland, where tactically we struggled with the wing backs, could mean that he goes to the three at the back again. Well, whatever team Southgate picks, Neville thinks it'll be the right one and capable of reaching Sunday's final. What he did in Russia, uh, in getting the results that he did and managing the, the group the way in which he did. Uh, was meticulous. I think it was an outstanding result to get to the semi-final. And from that point in, I had full trust in him, knowing how difficult it is to do that job. Um, and I have to say, coming into this tournament, I, you know, I think it was a few days and I said that he was our greatest asset. He absolutely is. Um, and he'll get it right tomorrow night. Now, that doesn't mean that the result will go our way. Sometimes you can pick the right team, you can pick the right system and you don't get the bounce of the ball. So, you know, he's an England manager that would have been heavily criticised in this last two weeks if the Decisions that he made, which were very unpopular at times, Trippier at left back, uh, not picking Jack Grealish at times, not bringing him off the bench at times, uh, amongst other things, uh, not taking Harry Kane off. I mean, I, I was looking at social media. I was in the stadium against Germany. I was looking at social media during the Germany game and there's no all out sort of war going on that Harry Kane should be hoiked off. Um, and I've seen it before with Gareth. He, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what his team, he knows what his team can do and he knows what his squad can do. And I think he'll get it right tomorrow night. Um, that doesn't mean to say he'll always win, but I think he'll get it right.